Hi Toy Growers, welcome back to IF Toys Photography Tutorial. So today we're going to work with Photoshop. I know it's been a while since I did my last Photoshop tutorial. So let's get ready and let's roll the intro. Okay guys, before we go to the editing process, we need to take some photos. The first picture is the photo of my phone and the second one is a pic of my action figure which is the Deadpool holding Pikachu. I shot it outdoor. If you're done taking the picture, let's go to Photoshop. As you can see here, I already imported the first picture. Now I drag my second pic. Just click OK if you're done. It's a raw picture, that's why the menu pop up like that. Now I will make the image bigger by holding shift and drag the edge of this picture. Reduce the opacity to see the phone screen. Just reduce it a little bit and I will move it until the figure part exceeding the phone screen. Then set the opacity back to 100. Gonna zoom in a little bit. Now we will make a cutout or a selection of the figures. Select this magnetic lasso tool and start making a path by clicking with this tool and click again following the figure shape. This process will take quite some time. If you're new about these selection things, just be patient. Also, I will make this video faster to save your time. After you're done making selection, just click select and mask. I will set the radius a bit to the right. And also, I will use this refine edge brush to fix the edge of the figures. Just brush it on the place that you think it needs to be smoother. Just click OK if you're done. Click this layer mask icon to make the background disappear. So everything in the picture will disappear except our selection that we made. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Command J or Control J if you're using Windows. Select the layer mask on the right. Press Command plus I to inverse it. And you will see this layer is only showing the background without the figure. So basically it will make it the opposite of the previous layer. Click the eye icon of these two layers to make it invisible. While you're still in this layer, we will now make a selection of the phone screen. So let's go to this tool right here and choose polygonal lasso tool. Okay, let's start right here. Click it and drag it to the other side. I will make a rectangle shape of this selection following my iPhone screen. So I try to make a strike line here. Click it again and drag it to the other side. Click it and now drag to the first point that we made. Now as you can see, there's a new selection right here. Click the eye icon on top layer to make the layer visible. You can see this is all background. Now, choose the brush tool. Change the foreground color to white and start brushing inside the phone screen. So it will make the figure visible. Switch the foreground color to black again. 
Now you can go to select and choose inverse or you can press command shift i it will make the outside area of the phone screen to selection now brush it all with the black color brush tool to make all of the area outside phone screen disappear if you're done click the eye icon to make our first selection visible now you can see that the head of the Deadpool will pop out go to select and choose the select to make the selection invisible or disappear now you can see right here there is a gap between the grass and the phone screen it's because the image that I use click the top layer on the left right click and choose rasterize layer now choose the polygonal lasso tool now make a selection on this gap after you make a selection press shift delete and change the contents to content aware it will automatically fill the gap with a grass picture okay that's done just press command d to deselect again select the layer mask on top layer now you can see these edges are so sharp and it doesn't look good so click select and mask again and increase the feather a little bit I will set it around 4.6 pixel. Click OK. Now I click my background layer and create a new layer above it. Select the paint bucket tool, change the foreground color to black. Now click on this layer, you will see the background area will become black. Change the blending mode to soft light. It will make the background or the wooden floor darker, then adjust the opacity depends on your liking. Create a layer mask on this layer, and select brush tool. Reduce the opacity first to around 20 or 30%. Brush it with black color brush, focus on the bottom and the middle area. I think you need to brush it a little bit, just to make it less darker. Now create a new layer again and put it on top use paint bucket tool and paint the whole layer black again go to filter render and choose lens flare I will move this lens flare to the center make sure to choose 105mm prime and I will set the brightness around 100 to 110% Click OK, change the blending mode to screen. Now we get the fake sun that we will put on the picture to make it looks better. Now I move the sun around here on the right side. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You can see some rough lines surrounding the lens flare here. You can make it disappear by adding this blur. Set radius depends on your liking. But in this photo, I will set it to 12 pixels. We will add a color to this lens flare. Now open hue saturation by pressing command U. Tick the colorize box, then change the color to orange or yellow in order to make it look like a sun -like. Create a new layer again, and put it below the lens flare layer. While you on this layer, hold command and click this layer mask from the first selection. It will make a copy of the selection into this new layer. Select gradient tool. I will choose this black and white preset here. Now click and drag it upwards. This is to make the bottom part of the figure looks darker. Deselect the layer by pressing command D and change the blending mode to multiply. 
reduce the opacity a bit. This time we will make a shadow of this figure. Now create a new layer again below the lens flare layer. We will redo the previous steps. Hold command and click the first selection layer mask again. Then choose the paint bucket tool. Paint the layer with black color. Deselect the layer. And press command T to open free transform. Right click on it and choose flip vertical. Rotate the shadow and move it to the place that it looks best. I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to rotate it again. Hold command and drag the edge to match this like shadow to the figure's part. Try to drag another point while holding the combat key to get more natural look of the shadow. Move it around and if you're done, just press enter. Reduce the opacity a little. To make the shadow smoother, go to filter, blur, gaussian blur again, and set the radius depends on your liking. I set it to 23 pixels. Create a layer mask on this layer, and I will use soft brush in brush tool to erase the overlapping shadows on the floor. Just brush it gently. I will increase the opacity a little bit to make the shadow more visible. Now I will do the adjustment of brightness and color balance. Go to adjustment tab, choose curves. In this RGB curves, I will click to make a point on the center and drag it down a bit. I will head to adjustment tab again and choose color balance. Select highlights first, and I will slide it to the right towards red color, around plus 4. Change into midtones. I slide the midtones to yellow, around minus 9. For the shadows, I slide it towards cyan, minus 6, and to blue, plus 6. Now I'm gonna make some adjustment for this image. I'm gonna select this layer, which is the second selection layer, and I will use blur tool to make some of the phone edges blurry. Also, I forgot to erase this green grass between Deadpool Snake and Pikachu cell. So first, locate the layer. I think, yeah, it is this layer. Click the layer mask, and I will use brush tool with black color brush to erase it. Oops, if you erase the tail, you can always switch the brush color to white to fix it. And you can see here, there is still a green line here on the figure surrounding. You can use brush tool on the layer mask to fix it. Well, I didn't really pay attention on the select and mask part. Yeah, I think you should do better than me on this refined edge things. Finally, it's done. So this is the before photo and this is after we edit it. Looking great. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I think that's all for today, right? I think that's enough for you. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to turn on that notification bell down there. See you in the next video. Bye.